Welcome back to part 5 of Dredge. Today we'll be covering Devil's Spine. Uh, for this area, you'll probably need the versatile fishing rod, and if you've unlocked some uh, troll nets, the volcanic set will probably help you. It doesn't cost very much research either. It's uh, the second troll you unlock, I believe. So it's the second troll net you need. You just need two research for it. We'll just head over there. Okay, so this is the old mare. talking about the keeper of the lighthouse. So, the lighthouse keeper and him know each other, so you just have to go back to Greater Morrow's and talk to her. You will also need an item, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, this is the location again. So you can return to Greater Morrow to talk to the lighthouse keeper after you talk to the old man at the campsite. That's a new dialogue for you. So she talks about throwing the boat back at the sea, but we'll get to that later on. So this little cluster of islands here on the map is a location for a package for a dock worker. You need to collect for him to uh, finish a quest for him. He doesn't say he has a quest, but this will automatically uh, start it and complete it whenever you give it to him. So you sum up huge of the waters. So he asks you to deliver the package. So you just need to travel to Les tomorrow and go to dock work and deliver to him. So here we are, Lesser Morrow, for the dock workers' pursuit. Hmm. All right, that's it. If you go talk to him again later on, uh, you'll notice his appearance will be changed. It's kind of rough. I'm not sure what was in there. If he ate it or what. So let's move on. So this is a devil spine. Uh, a couple things to note in this area. There are fish in this area that will chase you and slow your boat down. And also hurt it. But uh, I'll show you here. Okay. Okay, so it'll chase you around. And to get rid of them, you drive over these uh, volcanic vents and they'll scare them away. I didn't know that my first playthrough. I had it. Kind of explore a little bit more before I did until I realized, oh hey, chase them off. So if you're strong with those, that's what you do. Also, like I said, uh, you also want that troll net for the volcanic said. This helps you catch a bit more fish in this area. And it wouldn't hurt to have some explosives as well, because there's a lot of debris that you have to pass through in some areas. This area you'll need to go to to progress the story, the charred pontoon. This is the guy you need to talk to. The fanatic.
Okay, so I want you to go to uh, a couple different shrines. Sorry, three shrines. Collect some planes in there. Uh, each one will have a certain amount of fish you have to collect for. Or crabs, I think. So, I wonder how to have some crab boss for the one you got from the shrine. So, here's the first flame location. I need two crabs. So, I said I wouldn't hurt to have a couple of crab pots. So, just like Gale Cliffs, you just throw out your crab pots and just wait. Before doing that, waiting, we'll just go ahead and head to the other shrine, see what we can do there. This is the fourth legendary fish location you'll need for the Trally Merchant. It'll require Abyssal, but I'll go over that in a separate video. Probably more, more towards the end of the game. Okay, the stone tablet piece you'll need for a uh, mission. I think for the uh, merchant in uh, Lesser Cove. Here's the second flame location. You need a, a pale skate and a ghost shark. This is the final flame location. And for it you'll just need mutant fish, I think. Oh no, two mutant fish. Here's the second stone location. So we got our Yoshark, shark, we'll return that shrine. But while we're here, we'll also check our crab pots, see they're full. Turn the shrine here. I think it's good. After that, I'll give you some loot and the flame that you need for the fanatic. The second flame. This is the final stone location. I said earlier, probably doesn't have, hurt to have a whole lot of explosives on you. Like I said, you can just store those in your storage for now. You won't need them until later on. There's the final flame, along with the encrusted talisman. Fishing speed plus 330%, so it's pretty nice. I'll just uh, return to the fanatic with all the flames. He's telling about the relic they has. So we just go ahead and fill up these uh, statues of the flames. And Toxic Fanatic again. Swallowed by the Abyss. 
check the fire, and there's the relic. Turn to collector if you want to, but there is one place in the this area we'll check out. So this location here is the ancient ruins. You need to go left or right, check the cave first. This has some paintings you can check out and read. Go further, it'll lead to the ancient lighthouse. You'll have this tablet looking thing here. This is where you'll need those stones and talking to the trader in Lesser Morrow. You want to just go ahead and head back to the collector? Now this is where the twist comes in the game. So if you didn't figure out already, you are the collector. That's kind of the one twist in the game. I kind of could tell a little bit earlier, but mainly just because of the beard. The beards look the same. Okay, so that will progress the story to the ending, but uh, has some things to do before then. I'll show you the endings from this playthrough, just because I think it'll be different from the last time, since I'll uh, actually complete all the pursuits. Okay, so the stones earlier, we'll talk. go back to the uh, trader in Less Tomorrow. Show him the stone tablet. Hmm. I think I have to have the tablets in your storage, I mean cargo. Okay, here we go. Okay. So those are all the stone tablets. tablet, which you'll need for the ancient lighthouse. So the dock worker's back. He's not looking too good. to the Devil Spine. So we are again at the Ancient Ruins. We'll head back up tower. Start this tablet. So last time I took the Flame of the Sky, I don't really know what it does. Other than that, it's a, just a light you can install on your ship. This time I'll just leave it here. See if that'll affect the game ending any. I'm gonna stand back here to the trader, see if he says anything else. Is what you got to sell, I guess. Alright. 
see a little guy in pursuit. So we still need to catch the rare fish, as well as talk to the road figures, which I haven't covered at all, because I'd wanted to save until we were. Had enough stuff to catch the fish they need. But I think I'll just end it here, and I'll go over the four road figures in the next video, as well as the endings. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.